Uh, welcome back guys, uh, quick episode today, going to do um, something a bit different, going to do a how-to guide. Uh, one of our subscribers was asking a couple of weeks ago if we do many M50 manifolds on, on the M52 engine. Um, and if we did, if we could do a video on one. So I'm um, going to do one today, just be a quick video really. Um, no special tools required, just a basic socket set will um, do this job. You can use a fitting kit to fit the manifold, makes it a little bit simpler, makes everything a bit tidier. Um, but once again, it's not um, not necessary. You can do it without a fitting kit. Um, if you do want a fitting kit, we can supply them. Um, we can also supply the traction control to the intake pipes as well. Uh, so drop us a message if you need them. Uh, the only special bit about it is getting the ECU remapped afterwards. Um, once again, we can sort that for you. So get in touch, send us the ECU and we can map it for the M50. Yeah, so that's it. Quick video, um, quick guide. Um, hope you find it interesting and um, enjoy. Uh, so currently fitting uh, an M50 manifold to um, an M52 uh, B28. So we'll just uh, run you through it as we go along. Um, pretty straightforward. We've got a bit of a fitting kit, we'll show you what we use. Um, I'll film as much as possible once again. Ross is just uh, removing the fuel rail. Uh, gives you access to the bolts to hold the manifold on, which are 11mm. Um, it's pretty easy to get everything off, so get everything off. Once it's off, then I'll show you what fitting kit we use and um, which way everything is plumbed in and how everything goes back on. Right, manifold off. Uh, it's the most difficult part of this is just taking out the ICV and the bracket that holds it on. Just awkward to get to. See, there's a manifold. Main part's holding it on. These studs, 11 mil bolts, nuts. And the CCV then is pushed into the back and there's like three bolts holding that, three bolts holding that to a bracket. And then the idle control valve sits in the bottom. All right, so this is the M52 and M50 manifold side by side. Now you can see the noticeable difference in size. <coughs> the runners are a lot thinner and the ports and the M50 manifold. You can always tell if it's a 2.5, as it'll say 2.5 underneath the throttle body. If it's a 2 litre, slightly thinner runners, it's hard to tell. But it'll say 2.5 or 2 litre under where the throttle body goes. So this is the fitting kit we use. Um, customer supplied this one, but we supply the same one. Let's see, just a T piece. A 180 and a couple of 90s basically so you can connect back on you can see that connect back on to the CCV idle control valve and then the top one then connects back onto the inlet manifold right, so that's the way it sits on the manifold it connects to the piece that goes in behind the throttle body but then one side takes the idle control valve the other side takes the CCV and it's just a, a matter of fitting them underneath so they um, fit Ross is just cleaning the idle control valve while you have your net manifold off. Always make sure it's nice and clean and moving freely. Nothing worse than putting it back on and it's revving up and down you need to take it back off. Right, so that's how the fitting kit works. CCV on one side. Idle control valve on the other. And then into the bottom of the inlet, into the back of the inlet manifold where the throttle body sits. So that's basically how it works. Pretty simple. Might have to move um, these when you put it back in the engine bay just to make sure um, they clear everything. Uh, there's a lot of wires and stuff underneath, but you can just uh, fiddle around and put them in the correct position. So as you can see, that's how much um, room we have. So CCV sits about here. Idle control valve sit about here. Um, also, if you were using the 3 to 8 throttle body, you need an adapter plate for here um, because the 3 to 8 um, throttle body has a seal on it as well, so the seals don't match up. Um, we're using the M50 throttle body, so it's not a problem. As I said, you can use the M50 one, so it just makes it easier than having to get an adapter plate. So, I'll show you the difference what I mean in the throttle bodies. <coughs> That's the 3 to 8 throttle body, so the standard one from the car has a rubber seal, which um, 
if you put that up against the M50 manifold, the seals don't close and you get some air leaks. Um, this is the M50 throttle body, it's basically exactly the same, um, same size, everything. Just the, it's metal, so metal against the seal and seals. So if you can, just get an M51, um, saves you having to make an adapter plate or buy an adapter plate. It's just basically a straight bolt on, swap the pipes around, and that's it. Right, so if you're using a fitting kit like this, this is roughly where the CCV will sit and where the idle control valve will sit, just so all the pipes reach to them. So there's a pipe that goes from here to the 90 degree intake elbow, and there's a pipe that goes from the side of the CCV up to the rocker cover, and from the bottom down to the dipstick. So roughly anywhere in that position, and um, there's plenty of room for them, and they can all fit in place. Uh, so this is the M50 throttle body. Uh, you can see the difference, it's just um, the coolant pipes go into the bottom in a different place. They go onto the side of the M52 one. <coughs> so visibly different, but um, they're both the same size, everything else is the same. Throttle cable connects up the same and everything like that. As I said, it just makes it easier. That that's metal against the rubber seal rather than it being two rubber seals that'll never seal. If you do use the M52, just make a metal adapter plate uh, about a mil, a mil and a half thick, um, just to that shape. And then you can bolt it straight on. Uh, yes, I'm going to refit the inlet manifold on now. Um, it's just a matter of putting it back on and making sure that you have the crankcase valve and the idle control valve in the right position so the pipes line up with them. As I said, if you get them in the right position on the inlet manifold first. Uh, makes it easier then when you drop it in, they just should sit where I meant to go. So, yeah, so I'll do that now. Right, manifold is back in place. <coughs> you can see uh, the crankcase valve that's sitting nice and neat down there. Uh, idle control valve is over here. So, you can still plug it in, and the pipe then will reach from there up to the 90. You have to make a bracket for the um, dipstick. Because once you remove the M52, all the bracket and stuff out here um, isn't the same as the M50, so that's where the dipstick would normally attach to. So what we'll do is make a bracket from, there's like a little um, M6, M8 um, bolt hole here. And we just make a little L-shaped bracket that bolts from here up to here. Right, also the injectors, <coughs> um, the brackets they don't line up so we need to make um, some tabs so get some tabs made now um, just to line up where the fuel rail sits uh, so <coughs> this is why you need to try to keep the crankcase valves in the right position um, if you want to reuse this hard plastic pipe <coughs> you have to get the crankcase valve roughly where it was before because um, you can't really bend this um, we well, can bend it a little bit but it doesn't bend much but as you can see, crankcase breather valve. It's a couple of inches from where it used to be, but the pipe still fits, no problem. So just made a little L-shaped bracket to hold the dipstick in place. As I said, bolts underneath the inlet manifold. And then just a little nut and bolt holding the bracket on. Makes it nice and solid. So where you put off the tabs. So injector rail back in place, as you can see, this is the difference um, where the M52 injector rail sits, doesn't line up with the holes on the M50, so you just need to make a little um, tab for each one, and then a couple of washers underneath it, and just nut and bolt it to this, and then screw it back into that just to keep the injector sitting where it needs to be. The M50 manifold all fitted, uh, these are the tabs. Ross made up just to hold the injector rail in place. 
one of our 90 degree. Yeah, so currently just going to stick one of our maps on it, ready for the M50 manifold. You can run these without a map, um, but they run better with a map. So that's it, all mapped. Just uh, start it up now and test it to make sure it runs. Yeah, I've got it. There you go, so all runs mapped. Um, it's quite loud, it has no exhaust on it. Uh, the customer will sort all them bits out once he gets it back. <coughs> oh yeah, so that's it done. How to fit an M50 manifold. As I said, no special tools required. Uh, just a fitting kit if you want to use one, but you'll get away with out using one. Uh, make a couple of tabs for the fuel rail to sit down onto. Um, if you use the M50 throttle body, you won't have to make an adapter. Um, adapter is simple enough if you need to make one for the M52 throttle body. Yeah, so that's it. So um, like, subscribe and share.